there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be going over my lip balm and lip gloss collection. I've got some lip treatments here, some utilitarian lip balms here, which I clearly have more than I need. Um, some fancier clear lip balms here, some a little bit more utilitarian tinted lip balms here, and then these are also lip balms. Some Sephora, little Sephora lip balms. And then we have a couple of clear lip glosses. I'm surprised I only have two clears. Um, <laughs> then I've got my sparkly tube lip glosses, and then finally my glosses here in the stick and doe foot um, variety. <clears throat> so let's start with the lip treatments. Now these ones are actually touted as lip glosses, but they're so thick that I would call them a lip treatment. These are both from Avon. This one is the Naturals Lip Gloss in Raspberry Apricot. And then this one is in Honey Almond. So nice, so nice and thick. And they were pretty inexpensive. I, I'm quite sure that Avon still carries these, but they probably look a lot differently than they do with these. So there's those. And then I've got, I bought these in a Bite Christmas tin. Um, a couple years ago, they haven't been opened, so they're virtually new. Um, so I've got the Natural. I've got, I've got the Natural. Um, these are the Bite Agave Lip Masks. And I've got the Maple, quintessentially Canadian. And then I've got the Candy Cane, quintessentially Christmas. So those are all my, lip, my specific lip treatments. Those are the kinds of things that I would put on just before bed. And then I've got um, utilitarian lip balms. These are types of things that I would wear um, mostly either on the weekends or if when I'm not filming or um, at night when I, my lipstick wears off and I just need something moisturizing on my lips or um, in the gym after I take my lipstick off to work out, I'll put some lip balm on at the gym. This one is um, one of the Melon Medley fruit smoothies from Blistex. And I've got some ones I got from Nate, um, my dentist, a nice Nivea one I got from Influencer. Um, another uh, one I got from Canadian Western Bank. Like how utilitarian is that, hey? Another one from Nate, and another one from my dentist. And then this one is, I think, oh yeah, the Ada's Soap Shop. I think I got this in a Petite Vore box, I think. And it's a strawberry lip. And then these are some really neat um, clear lip balms that have flowers in them. Um, these I may declutter and give to people because I haven't even used these. So I may give some to friends and family. I may keep one and then give some to friends and family. They're basically all the same. They just have different flowers in them. Like, let's see what this one has for a flower. See how pretty that is with the flower in? Now I am using another one, um, and the only thing is that once you hit the flower petals, it does get a little rough. So I'm kind of working on the other side where that's not happening. But it's still such a cute little thing and such a pretty way to do lip balm, really. So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna keep one, give um, the rest to um, friends and family, because I, I really don't need more than one of these. That's so pretty. And then I've got a couple of lip, like tinted lip balms from Avon. This one is this slick tint in Glossy Rose. And this one is, I think, Opal. Glossy Opal, yeah. This one I think I also got in a Petite Vore. It's a Wild Rose Tinted Lip Butter. A bit like Rose. My juicy tubes from Lancome. It separated a little bit, but I used it. I, as you can see, I panned it. Um, I think this was spring and uh, it doesn't come out all separated. You just have to kind of massage it and it still works, but pretty color. I have uh, uh, my lips with better color. And this one hasn't even been opened. This is a 
Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in, in Tay Tay. So this is like a nude lip balm, tinted lip balm. Um, this one is fancy. Um, this one, June Iredale. I think I, Iredale, I think I, or Jane Iredale, sorry. I think I got this, I think I might have gotten this in a Cause box. Either Cause box or a Petite Floor box. Um, it is a fancy lip balm. Look at that beautiful packaging. I uh, guess <laughs> it's hard to read their letters because they're they're just kind of shiny on a silver background. But look at that. That's so pretty. So bougie. My bougie lip balm. And then these are cute little things from Sephora. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that a pretty color? This one's a beautiful plum one. It's a slightly brighter pink than the other one. So here they are swatched on my hand. The top one is this one, the darker of the pink, Fruit Rouge. So that's the top one there. Look how glossy that is. Lighter of the pinks is Cotton Candy. That does remind me of Cotton Candy, totally. And then the bottom, the purple, plummy, Corda Pop. Look at that gloss. <sighs> Love it, so pretty. Now we're getting to my, I thought I had more clear lip glosses than this, but this is my AOA Studio Full Lips. So this is just your utilitarian glo um, clear gloss from AOA Studio. And then this is a Body Shop Roll-On Gloss in Coconut, I think. Yep, Coconut. So let's get to our very glossy tube. Uh, lip glosses. This is Lasanza, and this one is Misbehave. Oh, behave! But it says, "Oh, misbehave." Then this one is Starry Collagen Sparkle, a sparkly lip gloss and a lip treatment in one. And then this is another one from um, the that I got from Lasanza. And this is Ula Lips. It's supposed to be a um, plumping lip gloss. And then I got another one of the um, collagen sparkling glosses and more of a color. So it's kind of a nudie, nude colored one as opposed to the pink colored one. And then there's this plum sparkle one from that line as well. The Starry Collagen Boost Sparkle Lip Gloss. And it's pretty plum sparkle. Very fall. And then we have a couple of body shop ones. Rose. This one is peach. I think they basically are clear. Um, but with spark a little bit of sparkle and apparently a little bit of flavor. This one's an elf. Um really iridescent type gloss topper in twinkle pink. And this one is in turquoise twilight, so it's got a bit of a I guess it's got a bit of a blue tint to it. Those I would say are more lipstick toppers than glosses per se. Then I think these kind of fall into that line as well. I mean, you could wear these as glosses on, your doesn't glosses on your lips, but I think they'd be more fun as toppers. And then we have Santee Super Extend Lip Gloss in, in typical Santee fashion, 06. Um, then we have Diamond Lip Gloss. Ooh, glitz. One. Oh, pretty, pretty cosmic. I think it's got lots of different iridescent shifts, and this one's a little bit orangier. This one's in posh, so a little peachier. So that is my lip balm and lip gloss collection. Those I'm going to get. These I'm going to give to family and friends because really, I don't need for clear lip Stay balm. tuned for my next uh, video where I take, I show you my lip crayons and lip, um, lippy sticks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.